focus on, say, Africa, you have 60 to 80 percent of the population linked to agriculture in rural communities. If you really want to unlock and bring them out of poverty and also make sure we have food security and nutrition security, we need to concentrate and, and refocus in many ways on agriculture. Value chains when it comes to agriculture will be critical, uh, both uh, domestically, regionally and globally. What we have as part of the key issues is that there's too many gaps in these value chains. To have access to the global markets is a key opportunity, but at the moment the cost efficiency of existing value chains is, is too low uh, and we need to buy down risk and, and to do that through a collaborative effort. In the past it's been too much of a siloed approach. Uh, either by governments or within governments, among donors or within the private sector. What we try to do now is to get everybody more collaborating, getting the synergies and the leverage to close those gaps in the, in the value chain. There's a series of, of constraints. Uh, if you ask, say, uh, domestic or regional companies, it's very much access to finance. It's uh, also access to what I would call affordable finance. And many of them are small and medium-sized companies. So how do you get catalytic funding, patient capital made available? In other cases, it's, it's infrastructure or, or logistics and also policy framework. It could be linked to taxation or it could be the cost uh, on you know, a lot of red tape and, and toll gates. So how do you get regional trade functioning? Uh, it could also be things link, linked to land tenure uh, and, and good governance. One thing we need to do is, is shift from a traditional aid platform uh, to much more of an investment mindset. Uh, and I think Aid for Trade can play a key role in helping you know, make that shift happen. Mm -hmm.